everyone, Salty Lemonade here back with another Dying Light 2 video. Today we are talking about three more unused and cut locations. If you haven't seen the first video, then here we go. If you've played Dying Light 2, you know there are a lot of cut and unused locations out there, and some of them just get hidden under the map or like behind a wall, somewhere you can't get to. Anyway, I'm going to show you how to get into these locations that were cut or not used in the final release. For today's video, we're going to start with the mass grave at Villador and Central Loop Tunnel. If you go to the tunnel that leads into Central Loop and use your grappling hook to launch yourself in between this wall and this military portable thingy, and then proceed to go behind it, you'll find this. Here's my theory about what happened to these people. These were people who were trying to get into Central Loop at the start of the apocalypse but didn't have biomarkers. And you remember what happens when you don't have a biomarker. Fuck if you look around this location, there are a lot of signs saying stuff about biomarkers, but anyway, I understand why they didn't keep it in the game. And up next, the highway under the VNC tower. Now, I have absolutely no idea why this is here, but it is, and strange thing about this location is that there are actually enemies down there, or at least there were, and there is a military portable and one crate you can open. Here, take a peek. Do the old casual VNC tower corner glitch that's in almost every single one of my videos and just fly down, and it should be, you know, right there. There's not really much here, but hey, it's not being used, so it's going to be put in the video. Make sure not to land on this road right here, or you will fall straight through it. Try to land in the tunnel, because that's solid ground, I guess. I don't know, dude. These fucking glitches are weird, man. And here you are. You're now in the highway under the VNC tower. I don't know why this is here, but uh, hey, whatever. And for the final one, we're going to be talking about the basement under the Renegade Camp. Definitely one of the hardest locations to get into. I don't really know what this place is, and strange thing about this place is when you go into it, it says you've entered a dark zone. I'm going to speed it up a little bit because it's long as fuck, but try to make sure and follow my steps because it's surrounded by borders. Come to this location that I just marked on my map and to follow my steps. Just do what I do. Don't be stupid. Make sure to swim to the other side of the bridge so you can actually use your hoverboard or broomstick or whatever you're using, because where you entered from is a barrier and you can't open your shit over there. Once you get to the other side of the bridge, which you can tell when the water cuts off, swim upward, pull your broomstick, and fly to this location right here. Now, I'm going to speed this shit up a lot, like, uh, dude, we go in A-train mode, baby. I'm fast as fuck, boy. I don't think you have any idea how fast I really am. I'm fast as fuck. Okay, now that you're under the map and you're in front of the bridge that leads into the Renegade Camp, jump into this water right here and get angle yourself directly under it and just swim straight. Make sure you... Dude, I fucked up so many times here. Just... Jesus Christ, dude. Be careful. Just be careful. Now once you get to the other side of this bridge and you swim up, you'll find this. A basement under one of the buildings next to the Renegade Camp. It's not directly under the Renegade Camp, but hey, close enough. And it's like the remains of a basement. I don't really know what this was. Hey, maybe some cut content? If you've ever seen the uh, E3 2019 map, there wasn't even supposed to be. Okay, so it's not really the E3 2019 map, but if you did pre-order Dying Light 2's Collector's Edition, um, you got this map right here. And it is an older stage of Dying Light 2's map, so yeah, eh, whatever. Back to the video. Be a green zone over here, so maybe, possibly, I'll show it right now. But yeah, very strange location. Anyway, I think that's going to be it for this video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it, and I will be back sooner or later. Make sure to like and subscribe, or Barbatos will eat you. And you won't get a moldy can of tuna. Alright, I love you guys. Bye. Have a good day.